Yes. Right, you absolute legends, welcome to the Chunkster Fishing channel. If you're new here, then my name is Tom, just an average, chunky, full-time working bloke who loves to get stuck into a carp or two. Oh yeah, there, look at that, 29 and a half pound of Welsh butte. <laughs> we all know the carp world can get a bit clicky and serious, so with my fishing, I like to bring the laughs back into the sport. Oh, not your rig. <laughs> <laughs> Are you videoing? Yeah, it's fine. Oh, I wonder why you're talking shit. <laughs> oh, so we've got to lunch time before we pack up. <laughs> <laughs> to me, the laughs and the journey of claiming that prize is just as important as catching the fish itself. Easy. Oh, no. <laughs> oh. It's hard. He tried. He tried. Here we go. He's got to go again. Absolute. St Stop it. My hands are freezing. As well. Jesus. My hands. Okay. The water. I can't do it. I can't do it. This guy's just not. He's not letting me, mate. Why is it not letting me? Why are you not behaving? <laughs> get on with it! Yes! Get on with it! Yeah! Alright, alright. I've recently become a dad, so as many of you know, time is now an even more valuable resource. So in this episode, I wanted to show you guys that you don't always need to spend an age on the bank when chasing carp. All you need is a couple of hours to have a great time fishing and spend some quality family time together. So come join me and my family's great little session at the Peterstone Lakes, where we will try and sneak a few off the top. We've had a few hours spare. It's an absolutely lovely weather. And I thought, why not get out with the missus and the little one again? Ooh. Oh, she's crying. We're going to see if we can steer the carp off the top. A few hours, nice weather, a bit of surface fishing, can't really go wrong. So I've just thrown a bit of doggies in here. At Peter Stone Lakes we are today. This is pencil. There you go. There's some carp coming up there. But they're not too keen on the feed at the moment. So I'm throwing in the doggies, just seeing if I get a bit more confident. And we'll, uh, this one right there. Look at this, look at this guy. Bloody gone and forgot my uh, sunglasses as well today. So it's been an absolute nightmare trying to spot them in the sunlight. But yeah, they're definitely here. There's some in this corner. So got some here. I'm going to go have a look over there and see if we can throw any around this one. See if we can get them on the feed. Right, let's get cracking. Knowing that some carp were held up in this corner of the pencil lake, I threw some freebies in to hopefully spur on a bit of competitive feeding. There were one or two very slowly taking a dog biscuit here and there, but it wasn't enough to fill me with confidence. However, I still decided to underarm a hook bait out, just on the off chance a carp was nearby and the movement would trigger a bite. Unfortunately, this wasn't the case, so I just popped over to Swan Lake and quickly realised that after throwing some doggies over here, the carp were feeding a lot more confidently and aggressively. Even without the polarised sunglasses, I could still see these little rascals swimming around in the swim. This is why I love surface fishing for carp, and why I think it's the most fun way of catching carp. It's all sight based, you can target out specific fish, and you know when you've got them on the feed, and you can learn a lot from how they react to your hook bait. Trust me, there is nothing as exhilarating as watching a carp suck down your floating bait. And these carp were interesting, because most of the time, as I've thrown out those dog biscuits, they didn't seem too interested, but all of a sudden, when that competitive feeding comes on, as you're about to see, two, three, or even four fish just start competitively sucking down baits. Now this is where things get exciting when they're in this mode. I see so many. There's one way, one here, right here. See it? Just put my, put my bait over there. They're really sort of, there's another one. 
That's good. Oh, mate. Oh, no. Get out. Oh, God, there's loads of them. Look, they've all just turned on. Oh. Get my one. See you going up for it? See you going up for it? This guy's mouth is so small, he can't get it in. Oh, bless him. Even with their feeding instinct switched back on, I was struggling to get a bite. That's the one drawback of surface fishing. As exciting as it can be, it can also be the most frustrating type of fishing you could ever do. After spooking a carp with my line trying to drop the hook bait in front of its nose. Just, just there, I just spooked him with bloody line. I thought it would be best to take the line out of the swim for a bit and jump back over to Pencil Lake to have another go there. It's way too much bait in there. Down here again. Or... What's that, mate? Down here again. Or... Yeah, mate. Mate, they're all down here. All everyone who's put in surface yeah. baits, they've all just floated all down here. Come down here two days ago. Oh, it's a nice little common. Give him a net, bub. <laughs> Lovely. <laughs> yes. Oh. Fun, right, we're in. There you go, that's the first one off the top in this little three hour session we come down for, and it just shows how worth it is when you come out even for a little bit, even if it's only a couple of hours. I managed to get this on the fake dog biscuit, which is the Enterprise ones, which you put the little split shot in. I just took it off the top in the morning, it's an angry, angry little common. There you go, <laughs> beautiful, absolutely really happy with that, really happy with him. It gave us a little, quite a good little fight for a little, for a little guy as well. It's only about eight pound, but it makes the trip all the worthwhile, doesn't it? <laughs> first carp. <Hooray> first carp. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> oh dear, first fish for the usage. You've got your hair. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. Oh. Beautiful. Right, we'll get this little guy back. Oh, I'm well chuffed for that. After slipping that lovely little common back. The carp was still clearly in the area, so I was eager to get the rod back out onto that spot. Maybe a little bit too eager. Oh, for f sake. After clearly demonstrating that my rig still works on that reed, the carp were really becoming aggressive. So it wasn't long before a bit more action took place. Hey, up. They're back, they're back, there's a load of them. A load of them come back. It's weird, they come in feeds. They come in like three or four at a time. They all go nuts and they stop. There you go, there's one, there's one swimming towards it. There's one swimming towards it. He's swimming towards it, swimming towards it. Yep, we're in again. Yes! Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. 
<laughs> oh, there's a branch snagged up on me. Oh no. Oh no. Do you want to net it for me, mate? Huh? Do you want to net it for me? Go on, you can net it. Huh? Yeah, yeah, go on. Grab the net, mate. Yeah. <laughs> Chunkster fishing. There you go, mate. Oh, it's come off. No, he came off. Oh, he came off, mate. Yeah, I had all this on it. Oh, I'm sorry, bud. <laughs> You're always next time, buddy, in there. Always next one. They, were, they came back, they were there again, so. Just over my shoulder, I could see some carp getting slightly more active on pencil. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to sneak one out of pencil, and with little Raya getting tired and grumpy, I knew we didn't have long left. So yeah, but there's no better way than fish with a carp off the top. They're only small little fish, but it's great fun, although there is a rumor that there's a 25 plus in here. You never know, I could get it, but look, I thought I spooked the fish off before we got about another half an hour, but the fish have started showing themselves again down this margin. So I'm gonna throw a bit more doggies in there, try and get them back and see if we can, uh, See if we can entice him back in and get a few more. And we're in again. We're in again. Oh. That was a bit better, this one. Ooh. So I let this swim rest a bit. Went onto the other lake, got their confidence up. He absolutely nailed this. I didn't even get the camera on in time. Put it out, and he absolutely nailed it. I'm keeping the line to it. Hopefully I don't lose this one. Hopefully I don't. Oh. And my GoPro is all over there, so I haven't got the GoPro. Another nice, nice little common. There's a lot of weed around that hook, which I don't like. Oh, these sonic extractors are not bad, you know. They're lovely to play fish on. Absolutely lovely to play fish. Oh, let's go for those reeds. Don't want him in there. Come on, mate. There you go. Come on. There you go. Come on. Come on. Oh, no. Oh, the net's all screwed iffy. Oh, no. Yeah, that's better. Come on. Come on. Come on, you're done, you're done, you're done. Oh, it's not a bad one, actually. Good bit of fun, isn't it? Look, number two is in the net. <sighs> so we lost the other one, so this makes up for the one we lost. But yeah, he's in the net, he's in there. Nice little common. And he absolutely nailed that dog, fake dog biscuit. I like how these Enterprise fake dog biscuits, they're definitely doing the trick. Right, I'll get him out and then I'll take a look. Well, there we go then. <laughs> There's a bit of weed all over him because there's a lot of weed in here, but it's a lovely slim common little rocket that uh, was great fun. Ooh. Absolutely nailed, oh yeah, absolutely nailed the fake dog biscuit. Absolutely nailed it. Do you know what? There might be small fish, so there's got to be like what, five, six pound? Might be small fish. God damn. Surface fishing for a couple of hours at the end of the day. It's great fun. Right, I'm going to put this guy back because he is angry. There you go. Lovely. The rocket common. <laughs> I will call you. Off you go. Oh, perfect. I don't know if there's enough time to get another one now. But I've had a great day.
It really was a great day, and quite honestly, still arguably the best way to catch carp. Like I said, the size of the carp really didn't matter. It was great to get a bend in the rod and spend some quality family time together. And this was all done in a couple of hours spare time. Next time I'm out, I'll be back at the birch chasing those elusive 40 pound Welsh monsters. So make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you don't miss it. And if you enjoyed this little video, then you'd be an absolute legend by hitting that like button. Remember, drop your guts, grab your nuts and get out on the bank. I'll see you in the next one.